Okay, welcome to our project, the automated spreadsheet. Uh, this is off of uh, Anna Rose's and Jacob Rose's uh, Journal of Accountancy article on how to connect your spreadsheet to the internet and be able to give you stock quotes. Really awesome deal. I'm Dustin Hilbrand and with me is Whiskey. So, we're going to first start out by going to Excel. Uh, when we go to Excel, let's name this sheet Trading Stock. Okay, and the next thing we're going to name is this sheet, Web Query. Basically, these are our two sheets. The one is going to be giving us our quotes, and the other one's going to be where we get our quotes from. So we need to start in uh, cell number uh, C, or sorry, B3. All right, so in B3, let's type in the word stock symbol. Um, and you know what? Let's just Let's just first uh, merge and center this, and we'll wrap that text. All right. Now in C4, uh, we're going to type in market, and then we're going to type in shares purchased, uh, purchase price. So this is all about our stocks. So cost, total market, and our market cost. Okay. Let's do that. Um, for our uh, stock symbol, let's just go with DE. Looks like a cool one. It's my favorite. Uh, nothing runs like a deer, right? All right. And let's just say uh, we purchased these for uh, sixty bucks a pop. And so our cost is going to be this sixty times the one thousand shares, giving us sixty thousand. Now um, for here, our uh, Mark, or total market's going to actually be whatever the market value is times our um, shares. So it's going to give us total. Don't worry about it coming out to zero right now. Um, once we get that value, these other two values will come in. So our market cost is actually going to equal our total market minus our cost. So right now it's going to show a negative because we don't really have a market value here. But we will have no worries. So now just for aesthetics, um, touch this up. Okay. Uh, for right here, let's uh, fold these, make them look a little bit better, kind of give it a nice little touch up look. And we'll put a nice thick box border on this. And we'll uh, bold DE, make it look great. Okay, and then next to that, we're also going to want to put in mail. This is about our email, since we're going to want this to give us an email of any time that our stocks don't come in at the right value. Um, for our minimum price, we're going to put in 100. Uh, make sure you put in that number, because that will come in handy. As you can see, it updates that just fine for us. So, all right, now let's go to our web query. Let's figure out how we can make this happen. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to data. We're going to need to go to existing connections. This connects us to MSM money, um, and it also co it connects us to stock quotes right away. So this is very important. So we're going to open that up. We're going to put it right there in the existing worksheet. Now we're going to put in a certain stock symbol. Since we're doing DE, this is what we come up with. Um, you can put in more if you just put in a comma and enter uh, other stocks such as Google or something like that. But we figure, you know, stocks are like women. Once you know one, you know them all. All right. So we're going to press OK. It's going to give us our data right now. It's uh, uploading it from the Internet. As you can see, it gives us uh, the values right here for it. Now, the next thing we need to do with this data is we need to go to our properties for when we go to our properties, we're going to want it to refresh every 30 minutes. We want to make this to refresh. We also want to refresh any time we open this file. This gives us a current update on how much these stocks are worth. Uh, if it was during the daytime, you would see these prices change even while you work on it. Next thing is our connections. Uh, for our connections, we're going to want to go to properties. As you can see, it has that information there. But under definition, we're going to want it to give it a parameter. This connects it with our other sheet. We're going to want to get the value from the following cell. So let's click on this. We're going to go back to trading stock. And we're going to go to this cell, B5. And we're going to press enter. So we are all set 
as far as that parameter goes. We'll press OK and we'll close it. Next thing we need to do is under here for our market, we're going to need to figure out the price. So for that, we're going to go back over to Web Query. We're going to enter in this one, uh, D4, because that's where the last stock price is. After we do that, it gives us that amount. As you can see over here, we have our market cost accurate and our total market is accurate. So uh, let's make sure we know which ones are costs and which ones we have. So we're going to go here. We're going to turn that into price. And also under our minimum price, we're going to give it a nice. So that is how you begin that. Now we're going to figure out how to make this go to our email. And Risky is going to teach us that right now. All right. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this uh, our data and then uh, to our email so that when the data is changed and the you know like we have the minimum price right here if like it's under our minimum price they're gonna send us email to remind us so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the Microsoft show basic and how we're gonna do that just press alt F11 Yeah, sorry, I had a hard time to do that, but yeah, that's how we open the Microsoft Visual Basic. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go to the sheet one and just double click. And for the the formula that we have, it's kind of long, so we already prepared the, the the formula, and we're just gonna. For now, we're just gonna copy it, and I'm gonna try to explain it. So yeah, we're just gonna copy and paste, and pretty much this is like telling the the Microsoft Excel what what they need to do if the the price uh under our minimum price. So they're gonna send us email to. Uh, this email address right here and then for your uh, maybe you want to change this email address later and the next thing we need to do for this workbook is we're gonna click for this workbook right here and we're gonna put another formula for it and yeah this is short one so we're just gonna Type it private sub workbook range I five. Cell formula one equal mail. This is why we type mail on the, the first uh, our worksheet. And yeah, it's gonna connect with this formula. And then after we do this. We're gonna run and then run sub and then both of them we're gonna you can also can click right here run sub. What it's doing now is it's gonna pull up the Microsoft Outlook and as you can see it's gonna send to the email that we put in the the formula on the Microsoft Visual Basic and it's gonna it's gonna you know and the the subject is the price is under our minimum price so so yeah yeah so so basically uh, 
Don't worry about that here. Um, we didn't really connect the rest of it, so it's fine. Uh, but basically, that's how you would connect it. That's how you would get it to work for you. And that is